guys, this is how to make this. Sorry, Dan is running a lot on his wheel. Say hello. Yeah, Dan loves to run. As you can see. Come on, Dan. Oh, he likes me. As you can see, this little boy, I gave him some toilet paper to make a nest. I mean, to make a nest with. Yeah. I hate talking mistakes, but now I'm going to have to undo that candy. Well, it looks like candy. You could call it a candy, but it's kind of offensive to a jiggle candy. Let's make a candy. It kind of sounds weird. <laughs> let's make candy, because let's make a candy sounds weird. But all you'll need for this is dribble food, dribble treats, any of those will work. Dribble food or dribble treats. I'm using some dribble treats that you could probably find at any pet store. <coughs> They're just like, um, they have a lot of seeds and they make them like easier for the dribble to eat them. And they and they're supposed to be easy to eat food, but I do some as treats because we don't put that in the food dish. Look at that little fast marshmallow. We call the white dribbles marshmallows. Now, so you need tissues and one toilet paper tube. I'm using four, but you could use two. Any equal number, except it can't be over than ten. And if you want to be two, it can't be over than twenty. Or if you want to make three, it can't be over than 30. Okay, make as many of these as you want. But you need some toilet paper tubes. I'm, I use brown ones because the white ones, the white toilet paper tubes usually still have some toilet paper on them because that brand puts them on more. Like they glue them on this brand. It just got some bedding on it. They have lavender bedding, lavender scented bedding. Those look like they're yeah, just like lavender scented things, those pivot pieces. I the only part that's lavender scented, I think that is. But anyways, these are the treats we used. So first, you're gonna take the toilet paper tube. I'm getting the camera guard. Okay. Take it and then get it. Ooh, one piece of tissue. I mean, one tissue. Then put it in like this. Now, if there's not enough space, you're gonna use another one. Don't push it in too much. Because you'll have to fit some treats. And put in some treats into there, as you can see. Uh, well, kind of hard to see, but you can see it a little at least. Then, if it looks a little, if you push them up too much, you can do it like that. Then, do put this. In and sorry, then likes exercising. Okay, well, I don't have to for that. Then you get this cute piece of well, it looks like a piece of candy, but let me turn on the light. Okay, <laughs> then to make this, make sure to stuff them in so they don't fall out. And this would be a great Halloween present, but and Anytime. Okay, this would be good. Now, these boys are getting something to chew on. A nice little chew. I'm gonna put it up here because none of them are up here. Oh, spies! You were the first one to find it. I like the treat I gave you. <coughs> and then it looks like you bought something for, for, from the store for them. And then. And then see the dribbles' faces grow. <laughs> no, I meant see the dribbles' smile grow. He'll smile.
No, we <laughs> do face is cool. <laughs> I accidentally said that. We just love when we make talking mistakes. And look, Spice, you're famous. And make sure this video gets to 30 likes. And I'll make a lot more really good tutorials like this. This one wasn't like the best ever. But I will make some more for fun, like more custom day wise you can do at home. You'll just need the, the needed materials. You could get them at any Walmart or Petco for the dribble stuff. And look, they took out the tissues. Let's see. They, oh, they found the treats. Oh my goodness. This is a great tutorial. Please, if you want a treat for the dribble, but you don't want to have to go to the store to buy a million things. But you could do, use any treat, even their own food. Pick a seed they really like, and your dribbles will be happy. But you could get all of them at, like, Walmart, because they, they might have pumpkin seeds there. If the dribbles really like pumpkin seeds, well, that would be a treat for them. And it just makes them excited. And you can do this a lot. You can do it multiple times. It's not something that gets boring super easily. Because <laughs> you can put different treats. Like, you could do tissue paper instead of tissues. You could, um, like, put, um, like, um, ah, uh, you could do, like, a variety of them. I put uh, uh, two sunflower seeds in there too. But um, it seems like they really like the treat. So I will make more. Like I did make them Halloween costumes. I might um, make some more tutorials like this. But this one is very simple and fun. I might do it more often, but we'll just need to... All we would need... Wait, uh... Okay, well, I just saw some weird writing. I'm gonna investigate. Sorry, uh, I saw something very weird. Dribbles love chewing, so I'm gonna make sure they're chewing DIYs and all the stuff is safe for dribbles. And I know that tissues are safe for them. You're supposed to be for the nose, but as long as they're not use tissues, you'll be fine. You'll be fine for them. Actually, I think tissues should be used more often for dribbles. But I'll, I might also make a tutorial on how to set up a dribble's cage or put some fluff in there for them to like make a glued nest and also put some like hiding spots for them. And I can do it like that <laughs> so they can have a place to sleep. That's their like burrow now. They don't dig holes in the ground like sometimes they do they dig holes in the bedding but because that one is very dark they go in there to sleep oh one of the marshmallows went in there be very quiet it might be taking a nap okay guys he's a little olympic swanner but uh our dribbles are very successful and we keep the wheel in place with a pipe cleaner but pipe cleaners are not safe for dribbles. But because they don't pay attention to what's holding the wheel in place, it's fine to put pipe cleaner to hold their wheel in place. But I will do more DIYs. They, they usually will include paper, tissue paper, dribble food, or toilet paper tubes. That's probably the stuff that I'm going to include. 
stuff that you can just like find. I might do like dribble tricks, like, and I told some in this video, but I actually think this would be a great series, and you could like. Uh, I know a lot of stuff that is a hundred percent safe. The dribbles like paper is just paper bedding. Your seeds are of course uh your treats wood, but you would have to make sure it's clean if you're getting it from outside. But you might get have to get some of the stuff from the pet store, like the gerbil treats. But just make sure you have all the materials and don't be like, oh, I don't have this, but I do have a plastic tube. No, that wouldn't work. Make sure you have the exact materials. It's fine if you don't have tissues. You could use tissue paper or paper towels. It's okay if you use like stuff that you know is safe for your gerbil. If you don't have the thing that I'm using, but if you, you're like, oh, but um, I think it's safe for them. You have to be 100% sure before you're giving it to them. Like, we gave them socks that we didn't use anymore, but they were clean. And we threw them away because we had to clean them. Okay, do look at them now. You're so excited. That's why they should do this stuff because you get a lot of happiness out of them. They get really happy when you give them stuff to chew on. I think I never saw happier gerbils. They have all your treats, but they just love chewing. Okay, this video is 11 minutes long, so goodbye. And I hope that you have a nice day. And please try more of my DIYs. I will do more soon. But they can't be posted a minute after this because uh, my dribbles are going to be busy with these things. So that boy wanted to say hi to you guys. Say hi and uh, like this video though if you tried this so I can see how many people did try it. And uh, just like it if you don't like this idea, if you think it's a terrible idea. But it's a way to not use a lot of money to get something for the dribbles like it would work as a present for your birthday or christmas or any special occasion if you didn't want to go to the store or you could it would be perfect for a halloween present because it's candy or you could make it if you didn't want to get a halloween thing at the pet store this would be a perfect thing now goodbye and in picture to uh Leave a like or dislike if you don't like this, but leave a like if you think it's an amazing idea and more people should come up with dribble ideas because most people have hamsters, not dribbles. But goodbye and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!